Today, I'm talking about a huge mistake that so many LinkedIn users make that will keep your business a well-kept hidden secret from your prospects. And we don't want that at all. So this is a, a massive mistake that frankly, too many uh, LinkedIn user, users are making simply because they just don't know any better. And it's one of those things where the devil's in the details and you wouldn't know about it unless someone actually told you about it. So it has everything to do with whether or not your ideal prospects can see you and communicate with you and whether or not you're seeing the communication that your ideal prospect, your, your target audience is trying to have with you. So there are a few little secrets that can dramatically change your results on LinkedIn. And I'm going to share them with you today. And it's all about your LinkedIn account preferences, your visibility and your communication on LinkedIn. So I am going to share my screen with you here so that you can see exactly what's going on with LinkedIn. And in fact, let me dig in here. So I'm on LinkedIn now. And when you click on your profile picture in the top uh, right corner there, you will see that there, there's a drop down menu and you want to go to settings and privacy. So when you go to settings and privacy, you can see there are account preferences. If we go to account preferences, um, you want to go through each one of these things. The most important thing on the very first thing uh, where it's profile information, when you scroll down here a bit, you can go through each one of these things. But the most important thing here is, uh, showing profile photos. This has, I mean, there are other things here that are important, but when we're talking about people able, being able to see you and being able to see your profile and being able to see your posts and your communications and you being able to see the people that are trying to communicate with you, showing profile photos. So this will normally be set. The default setting is that no one can see it. So you wanna go over here, you wanna click the change and you can see that there are options in this LinkedIn uh, drop-down menu. No one can see your profile photo, your connections only can see it, your network can see it, and I choose all LinkedIn members. I want my profile to be as open as possible so that everyone can see me and everyone can find me on LinkedIn. Okay, so again, you can go through the rest of these options and look at these, but let's just go from here to visibility and back over on the left hand side here you want to click on visibility next so again you want to go through each one of these things these are super super important but profile viewing options choose whether you're you're visible or viewing in private mode so you click over here on change again linkedin's going to set it so that nobody can find you hello so you've got options here whether um select what others see when you've viewed their profile. Now I want people to see that I have viewed their profile and I want them to see my name and headline. I want them to see everything. Okay. So you just want to click on that and make sure that is checked off and then go down through these other options here. Um, story viewing options, choose whether you're visible, or viewing in private mode. Again, I'm fine with people seeing. You can edit your public profile. Um, this is really important. Who can see or download your email address? Well, you wanna click on change there and make sure it's, setting, it's set correctly so that as many people as possible can see your email address. Don't you want people to get in touch with you? Now, again, the default settings are, are to protect your privacy, which I understand and I get. But if we're out there, if we're trying to build our network marketing businesses, our affiliate marketing businesses, our coaching businesses, we want the world to be able to find us and see us and communicate with us. So um, you want to allow your connections to download your email address. I say yes, absolutely. And again, who can see Gloria at GloriaMcDonald.com on your profile and your approved apps? visible only to me. Well, that means nobody's going to see my email address, my first connections, my first and second connections for me, anyone on LinkedIn. Hello. I want anyone on LinkedIn to be able to send me an email. If there's something that I've got, that's of value to them and they really want to connect with me again, 
choose if your connections can see your first uh, your connections list. Now this is really important and this is no, right? You want to make, here's the thing. I don't want my competitors to be able to go in and mine my connections list. So this is one place where you want this to be set to no. Okay. Who can see your last name? Well, I want everybody to be able to see my last name. So again, you know, choose who can see your last name, show your last name. Yes, I actually want it. I want it to be Gloria McDonald. I don't want it to be Gloria M. Okay. Again, if you go through these representing your organization and interests, now I have a LinkedIn page for my, for my business. So I want that visible profile visibility off LinkedIn. This is super important. You can click on this and see, uh, profile visibility off LinkedIn. Should we show information from your profile to users of permitted services such as Outlook? Yes. And this is where your LinkedIn profile will actually show up on Google. So you absolutely want that set to yes. Unless of course you don't want anybody to find you. If you want to keep your business a well-kept hidden secret, then keep that off. But I want yes. Um, profile discovery using email. Again, I want everybody to be able to see me. So if you click on that change, choose who can discover your profile if they haven't connected with you, but have your email address. Hello, I want people to be able to connect with me. So you've got options here. You've got everyone, secondary connections, no one. I want everyone to be able to find me. The next thing is profile discovery using phone number. You want to make sure you've got your phone number, not that people are going to call you. They're not likely to call you. They might text you, they might WhatsApp you, but what, but you want to be as visible as possible. So again, I choose change who can discover your profile or connect with you. If they have your phone number, same options, everyone, second degree connections or no one. I want everyone to be able to find me blocking, see your list and make changes. If you'd like, you can look through that. Okay. Then visibility of your LinkedIn activity. I want people to see my LinkedIn activity, right? Manage your status, choose, uh, choose who can see you are on LinkedIn. So you click change again, you have your connections only can see you're on LinkedIn. All LinkedIn members are no one. Well, hello, I want more prospects. I want more leads. I want more customers, team members. I want more followers on LinkedIn. So all LinkedIn members. Okay. Share profile updates with your network. Now this is an interesting one. I have this set to know very intentionally and very specifically. So if you click on change here, um, this is share your profile updates with your network. I want to choose, uh, I want to be strategic. I don't like if I just go in and change one little thing because I made a spelling mistake, I don't want my whole network of 30,000 people to get an email saying I've changed something. So on my profile, when I make the change, I choose when I want my network to be notified. So I have this set to know. And then on your profile in your experience section, when you make a change and I talk about that in my 60 minute power recruiting program and my dominate LinkedIn program, um, that's when you are strategic about this. Okay. Notify, not notify connections when you're in the news. Well, heck yes. Hello. Don't you want your notifications to go out there? You want your connections to find out more about you. Um, mentions or tags choose whether other members can mention or tag you. Sure. Yes. Right. And followers choose who can follow you and see your public updates. Well, hello. I want everybody to be able to follow me. So again, you go down here, the drop down menu is everyone on LinkedIn or your connections. I want everyone on LinkedIn and then enable follow yes or no. So you want to make sure that's on. Then the next section, I know I'm flying through this, but the whole point of this is you want to make absolutely certain you go into your account settings and privacy and go through all of these things, look at them and make sure that people can find you and people can communicate with you on LinkedIn. So let's look at the communication section for a second. Um, so how you get notifications, you want to be notified when people comment on your posts, you want to be notified when your connections do something. So on LinkedIn, 
you just click on the arrow over here so you can check this out and you can see what you want i have all of these set to on and you can you know conversations messages posts comments so click on that arrow and you can go through all these things so this means you're going to be notified of activity on posts and comments you're mentioned in that's on activity on posts and comments you've responded to i have that turned off uh i'm going to actually turn that on right now comments on your job updates yes confirmation of your posts i don't care about that in mail reminders but you can go through every single one of these things you see the only thing I have turned off here are confirmation of your posts and trending conversations on a topic in your network. I have that turned off totally optional. It's just that I get so many notifications. I honestly don't have time, but if you're starting off and you're new and you want to get involved and you want to be able to message more people, then turn that on. So um, we're going to go back and back. Well, you can so you can go through each one of these things you can see mine are on now you probably uh you might not have sales navigator i have sales navigator just to be really clear i do not recommend sales navigator there's no need to pay for any linkedin services everything that you want to do to build your business you can do with the free version of linkedin but i have each one of these things turned on okay let's go back to that communications so that's how you get notifications and you want to go to your email. Um, I get email notifications when there are conversations, when there's something new going on, when there's something in one of my networks, news, profile endorsements. So I get notifications from LinkedIn that I've got a new comment on my posts and things like that. So again, I've got these all set to on. Okay, let's go back again who can reach you this is super 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 important again the default settings on linkedin are set to protect your privacy you don't we're not looking for privacy here we're looking for getting the word out about your product your service your opportunity and connecting with your target market so you want to go to uh, invitations to connect and if you click change there you'll see who can reach you who can send you an invitation to connect on LinkedIn? Now I've got this set to everyone on LinkedIn, which is what is recommended, but you know, you just want to make sure that that's what it's set to invitations from your network, choose what invitations you'd like to receive from your network. Okay. If you click on change, allow your network to send you, you page invitations to follow companies and organizations. I've got that set to on allow your network to send you invent in, in uh, event invitations. I'm going to turn that on as well. Allow your network to send your invitations to subscribe to newsletters. That's turned on. Okay. Messages. This is all super important. You want to go through each one of these things, allow select people to message you. So you can click on that. Enable message request notifications. Yes. Allow others to email you. Yes. Hello. I want people to be able to reach out to me. Allow open profile messages. Yes, I want as many people who want to message me to be able to message me. This is super important. Um, so you want to make sure you're going through all of these things and uh, and opening up your profile because again, the default settings are set to protect your privacy. So this can have a dramatic impact on the number of people who are who you are seeing that are reaching out to you. So messaging experience, again, choose how, how you would like LinkedIn to customize your experience, read receipts and typing indications. You can just look at these and see how you want them set. So this is, again, I cannot recommend highly enough that you go through these uh, LinkedIn account preferences, your visibility and your communications and go through each step of it. You can also look at your data privacy that's important as well, but just go through each thing and make sure again, if you're using LinkedIn to build your business, make sure that your account preferences are as open as possible, that people can see your, uh, your profile. They can see your last name. They can see your photo. They can see your email address. They can see your phone number. They can message you. They can follow you. 
check out these settings, follow this video, and make sure that you are allowing the maximum people to connect with you on LinkedIn. Now, if you found this information helpful, then you probably want to get more of this kind of information. So I can't recommend highly enough that you check out my 60 minute power recruiting program by going to Gloria McDonald, <clears throat> excuse me, Gloria McDonald.com slash 60. That's six zero, the numeral six zero Gloria McDonald.com slash 60 and make sure that you like this, um, forward it, share it, follow me and subscribe. Thanks so much. And I will see you again soon.